Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and I want to show you something that will really turn your life around. It's it's a revelation about what the Old Testament is all about and what the New Testament is all about. And when you get a hold of this, it'll it'll be like your eyes will be open, and you'll be so easily able to see when you're being condemned, um, and when you're and, and the difference between the Old and the New Testament and walking it. So let me let me just get to it. It's real quick and simple. God showed this to me the other day, and it, it, it's it just kind of makes you. I can write a whole book on this. It's so it's so good. It's uh, Galatians three, verse thirteen. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having been made, having become a curse for us. For it is written, "Curses everyone that hangeth on a tree." And that's when he was on the cross; he hung on a tree. So he was cursed for us. The next verse, fourteen, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in in Christ Jesus, and that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Now, a lot of times we look at that and. And it's really a good scripture for many reasons. One of the reasons is Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. And that means that in the Old Testament, every time you didn't, they had 613 laws, or roughly around there. And whenever you didn't obey them, you had to offer some kind of sacrifice. Uh, you had to, because you sinned, you disobeyed them, you had to offer, offer a sacrifice. And every time you, and you didn't do that, a curse would come upon you. You would be cursed, and if you read Deuteronomy 28, uh, and I think 30 also, are the blessings and the curses, and those are called the blessings and curses of Abraham, and of the Abrahamic covenant. So uh, Christ redeemed us from that curse, so we're no longer under the curse, and some of the things in the curses, you will be in fear day and night, your life will hang in doubt, your children will be taken from you and given to another nation, uh, rape, kidnapping, uh, poverty, you'll be in lack of everything, You'll be in fear. Um, you'll have every sickness and every disease on you. Um, those are the curses that Christ redeemed us from by hanging on the cross. But this is what I want to get to. We oftentimes look at that scripture just from that point of view. But there's something God showed me that was very, very exciting about this scripture. It says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Now, this is the part I want to get to that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus. Okay, so the blessings of Abraham, first of all, this is like only part of what I want to get to. Um, Abraham was not born again. Abraham was in no way spiritual. Abraham, um, Jesus didn't die yet, so the spiritual side didn't come. He was not spiritual. The only way God could deal with him was through physical, through um, uh, prosperity through money through cattle through sheep through goat through uh, the physical realm and the only way God could bless him was with wealth he could you can't say it was spiritual because Abraham was not born again Abraham was not spiritual Abraham was under the law okay so that's the first point I want to make okay the blessings of Abraham the blessings of Abraham are definitely no way you can argue with me no way you can talk me out of it I can prove it to you Abraham's blessings are all about prosperity you God made him rich made him very rich in cattle and gold and rich and silver and so on um, and very prosperous okay now and the blessings of Abraham are even bigger than that look at in Deuteronomy about that okay then it says that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith now, God showed me this. This is really cool. He says, the promise, okay, Jesus hung on the cross so that we would get, number one, the blessings of Abraham. He said, that is the best that the old covenant has to offer. Isn't that cool? And then he said that we might receive the promise of the Spirit. That is the best and what the whole new covenant is all about. It's the Holy Spirit, walking in the Holy Spirit. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. The new covenant, see the letter kills. The law, the Old Testament, the letter kills. But the new covenant brings life. Grace brings life. And the new covenant is all about grace. 
God paid for our sins and willing to give us everything he gave us in the garden, restoring to us. So he said that um, Galatians 3, 13 and 14 is showing us what our covenant is all about. We got the best of the Old Testament covenant is the blessings of Abraham, which are physical. And we got the best of the new covenant, which is the Holy Spirit. So the new hope, the new covenant is all about the Holy Spirit, not about the law, not about obedience, not about uh, anything else. The only two laws that we have in the New Testament is what Jesus gave us. And he said, believe on the name and walk in love. Okay. So we got the best of the old and the best of the new. And the Holy Spirit is what the old, the New Testament is all about. The Holy Spirit walking in His presence, walking in His power, praying in tongues, interceding, praying, allowing God's power and presence to come through us to a world, to change the world. So um, my name is Robin Bremer, and that's all I want to share with you today. And I hope that really gets you excited and gets you hungry for more of the Word. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.